So the cost of diet food. So here's where we get into the weeds, because again, you can imagine people coming up with all kinds of things that they can, they can say, well, my doctor approves this. And you can imagine the back and forth that has happened between you know, taxpayers and the IRS. So what the first one, diet food. This gets into that whole thing with should obesity, for example, be a disease? Because if, if you qualify it as a disease, maybe you can write off the food that you buy, right? Which would be a huge expense or of a write-off, which again, I don't think should really be something that's dependent on the tax code to be determining the classification of a disease personally. Cosmetic surgery, unless it was necessary to improve a deformity related to a congenital abnormality, an injury from an accident or trauma or a disfiguring disease. So again, this is another one that gets kind of confusing because, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you can argue as to whether or not something is, is necessary care or, or not, whether it be cosmetic or, or not uh, kind of things. And again, there's a lot of kind of gray area, it seems to me, in, in, in that space as well. Life insurance or income uh, protection policies. Uh, so life insurance is different than medical insurance. Uh, then we have the, Medi the Medicare tax on your wages and tips or the Medicare tax paid as part of the self-employment tax or household employment taxes. So when we think about our normal, uh, our normal payroll taxes, the money that, that's taken out of our W-2 wages, we have federal income tax, we have Social Security and Medicare. And you could argue, you could say, well, hey, well, Medicare is something that I'm going to get when I get when I reach the age limit to be qualifying for Medicare, and I'm basically paying for it now, so I should get the deduction for Medicare. But no, because that's some weird thing where it's like you're paying into the social program and so on, and 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 again, it gets kind of messy. So nursing care for a healthy baby, but you may be able to take a credit for the amount you paid. See the instructions for Form 2441 illegal operations or drugs so obviously if you're if you're getting your drugs like illegally or something like that like like from canada or some other place you know you would think that that might not be uh deductible obviously illegal drugs are generally uh uh not going to be deductible you would think right so important drugs not approved by the u.s food and drug administration the fda so imported drugs uh, these include foreign made versions of US approved drugs manufactured without FDA approval, which means they're cheaper oftentimes because they don't have the FDA approval, but of course, can't deduct them in that case. Non prescription medicines other than insulin, including uh, nicotine gum and certain nicotine patches. So travel uh, your doctor told you to take for rest or a change. So this is one that I gave as an example that you can see would commonly come up where you can convince any doctor, you know, oh, I need a vacation to reduce my stress and it's going to be a health benefit. Well, you could get approval for that, but obviously that's one that the argument has been pretty well drawn out and the IRS is basically one, you know, that argument. But again, if you get create, if you start thinking about it, you can come up with all kinds of questions about medical expenses and so on and and uh, I'm sure you could find ca many interesting uh, cases about uh, the deductibility of medical expenses. <laughs> so funeral, burial, or cremation costs. So that is past medical expenses because the medical expenses had clearly failed at that point in time. So tip. So if you were age 65 or older, but not entitled uh, to social security benefits, you can include premiums you voluntarily paid for Medicare Part A coverage. So line one, medical and dental expenses. Enter the total of your medical and dental expenses after you reduce these expenses by any payments received from insurance or other sources. You can see reimbursements later. If the advance payments of the premium tax credit were made, or you think you may be eligible to claim a premium tax credit, fill out form 8962 before filling out schedule A line one. 